you may have to write things down. If if that is going to require you to have that firm commitment, you may need to write it down. <clears throat> I know people who, in order to reinforce their goals and their ideas, they got sticky notes and wrote down things on sticky notes and put them around places in their home. I know some people have done that because that helps reinforce. It's like them creating their own iconography, their own icons, right? You know, some people, they grow up in a society where they see where they see their iconography around them all the time. So they're always being reinforced in terms of who they are and their capacity, their identity, their confidence. They see that around them all the time. You have to create the same kind of environment, especially if you are black and brown. Because Usually, most of the places that you frequent, even maybe in your own home, you may not see images and ideas that reinforce your own identity and that speaks to the divinity within you. Where you get the same sense of confidence and esteem from seeing these things. So some people, like I said, I know they may write down sticky notes and post things in certain places so that they can see it every day. You know, a lot of the things that I'm talking about is basically reprogramming your subconscious mind. Uh, Like uh, my brother said, got to psych yourself out. (laughs) It's reprogramming ourselves. And you have to really immerse yourself in a sensory environment that aligns with all of your goals and your ideas. What do I mean by that? It's not enough to just speak things into existence. That's not enough because the verbal component or speaking is only one sensory aspect of who you are. You got four more senses. What are you going to create in your environment or what are you going to listen to that reinforces or that aligns with what you're speaking? What are you listening to? Who are you listening to? Who's around you? What their conversation is about. That has to align with what it is that you're speaking. And eating, tasting. You can say you speaking things into existence all day. And you can say, oh, I'm listening to all of this positive music and this inspirational talk. This, But if your diet is wrong, if you're not fasting and you're not committed to a healthy lifestyle, this talking, this listening don't matter. Because that's not aligned with what it is that you're taken within you your diet is not aligned with that plus what you're looking at how does that sense of sight align with what your goal is you can listen to all you want but if you're looking at the wrong things so you have to have a sense of alignment with all of your senses your sense of smell, your sense of taste, touch, hearing, all of those senses have to be aligned. That's what a ritual is. Whether you're talking about in a religious ceremony in church, whether you're talking about occult rituals, all of those various different rituals align a person's senses into a fine stream of consciousness in order to accomplish whatever that goal is. That's why you see incense incorporated in ritual. That's why you hear sounds or chimes or other different things incorporated in rituals. That's why you have a sense of touch and taste and why you have things visual for you to see. All of these things align the mind or that consciousness into one stream so it's laser focused on an idea. It's hard to be able to do that if you're listening to stuff over here, you're eating the wrong foods, what you're looking at is like you cockeyed and, you know, the senses is not aligned. A lot of people was just all over the place and that's exactly what 2023 looked like, all over the place. A lack of focus. And that's why it's also good to incorporate 
certain type of self-regulation techniques in order to strengthen your focus, whether that's meditation, whether that's yoga, whether that's martial arts, whether any of these various different type of practices that we've always incorporated into our culture are important because they help with a sense of self-regulation in order to focus that stream of consciousness into a certain way of obtaining our goals.